Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. So Cardano going according to plan at the moment. There is currently no need here to change my Elite Wave count in any way or anything. In the last update, I told you that um, we are probably here in a wave two. I still think we are. And well, we might have completed this now, yeah, with this wave two peak. I did give you this orange target area for the wave two in which we came into here and then came into again. We did overshoot it very slightly, but in the end, we saw a very strong reaction to that resistance level. Yesterday, we moved all the way up to 55.9 um, or 55.9 cents, um, but we did not invalidate this overall downtrend at all. And therefore, we can still count this here as a three wave move, yeah, as an ABC pattern. So I did show you that yesterday. I think we have here an ABC. And from this one, which probably peaked here finally, yeah, in a wave C, we started a downtrend, yeah. So this is currently how it's looking like. And what this could be here is maybe a first wave of wave three, yeah. So this could be counted already as an impulsive wave, yeah. Um, maybe we need, I think we need one more leg down. We need one more leg down, then we could count it as an impulsive wave. Then this would count as a first wave of this wave three. So that is actually quite interesting and quite important because um, then we could count, then we could have confirmation here that we are actually moving down lower. Yeah. So over the next hours here, I would expect further price decreases of Cardano. Yesterday, I already mentioned to you when I made my update that I don't think or that I am quite confident that Cardano wouldn't move up much more and it didn't. And now I tell you that I'm quite confident it should actually move down lower. Yeah, um, in a wave one of three. Bear in mind that it could now drop a little bit lower and then move up again, making a lower high and then come down. And the reason for that is if this here is a wave one of three that you can see here off the chart on the chart, then we would actually expect this to be corrected, the whole wave here to be corrected again in another smaller degree wave two, which would normally come up quite high again, making a lower high eventually. But I already know the comments where I tell you now we are going to expect it to drop further. When we then move up a little bit to 54 cents, a lot of people say um, you weren't right. But actually, this is part of the game. You move uh, to just to show you that if this is a wave one of wave three, yeah, so I think we can't count it yet as an impulse. So we need we need here further confirmation down. So let's say we get a, 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 um, an impulsive move down. What you then get, you will get an ABC up. Yeah, and this is still part of this overall downtrend. It's just a corrective wave up in a downtrend. So that is what we can expect. A little bit of a move down now and then move up and then the real downtrend should start. Yeah, so no reason to change it. What is important, you know, is that we move now below this wave below at 50.2 cents. That is absolutely crucial. And then real confirmation, I think we get only when we finally move below this 49 cent level here that I already put on the chart before here, this horizontal support level. This is what we need to break. And then um, I think we have confirmation that we actually finally will go lower. Now, an, an alternative way of seeing this all here um, this whole wave would be as a triangle. So that would be very, very similar to my um, Ethereum video that I made yesterday. Um, we can count all of this as a triangle as well. Yeah, here. So we already had a triangle here, then I would count this as a triangle as well. We might have to change things here a little bit. Overall, it wouldn't change a lot. It would just assume that maybe that wave four here, which I actually originally had highlighted as finished here, is not finished yet, it will be finished here or something doesn't make a great difference. Um, that would be the case. If we go above wave two here again, yeah, if we break above 55.9 cents, again, I would reconsider this other wave count again, it wouldn't make a, a difference in any way here to that medium term wave count where I expect still a lower low, but it could just make an impact here on the short term. So but uh, yeah, for now, what all eyes need to be on that wave C high here, 55.9 cents. We shouldn't break that anymore in this scenario here. Um, and we should actually break the 49 cent level finally to confirm a further move 
down. Um, and that would also be my primary expectation. Yeah, that could happen here. I'm not sure if that will happen today, but in the next few days, certainly. That would be my expectation. Yeah, And then um, in this overall here, the roadmap to complete the overall correction, that last wave down should take us into this redefined target area here that are redefined based on this wave one down calculation of that would take us into the region between 22 cents and 35. So we can't specify that at the moment further, but this is where I would expect it to land. Yes, with that, it would actually drop below the 88.7% FIP level at 29 cents. Wouldn't be a disaster because from here, from that 22 cent level, if we then get there, it would might already be enough to just touch the 35 cent level. But should we really drop lower, um, I do expect a recovery from here. So this is the target area where I do expect the overall correction to finish. Um, not guaranteed, of course, you know, but this is where I expect it currently. Okay, so hopefully you liked the update um, about Cardano. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content as well, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.